This is the old City Hall Cenotaph. Located just outside City Hall at 60 Queen Street West, it is within the very core of downtown Toronto, sandwiched between the city's massive skyscrapers. At the front, in bold letters, it states, To our glorious dead. That is because it was originally built in honor of those who laid down their lives in the First World War. On the sides are the flags of Canada, Britain, and Ontario. The names of seven battles of World War I where Canadians played a pivotal role are also engraved. Some of the battles include Passchendaele, Yeep, and Somme. At the back, the name of the naval battle of Zeebrugge is chiseled in. Along with that, there is also a plaque that states, dedicated by the citizens of Toronto to the undying memory of those who fell in the Great War 1914-1918. to Later additions were made to this monument to honor the martyrs of World War II, the Korean War, and the Afghanistan War. The cenotaph was designed by architects and World War II veterans William Ferguson and Thomas Canfield Pomfrey. On July 24, 1924, Earl Haig, who was the commander-in-chief of the British forces during the First World War, laid the cornerstone of the monument. The cenotaph was officially unveiled on Remembrance Day 1925 in front of 20,000 Canadians by Governor General Lord Bing, who was the commander of the Canadian Corps during the Battle of Vimy Ridge. Such a large turnout was for the 10,000 Torontonians who made the ultimate sacrifice in the Great War. For many of the people gathered, this cenotaph was for their family members as well as a place to remind them of the horrors of war and how much it can destroy. Ever since, the old city hall and cenotaph have been the focal point of Toronto's Remembrance Day ceremonies. While the memorial's original purpose and meaning remains, it has become a versatile place with many uses. Located next to Nathan Phillips Square, one of Toronto's most popular tourist destinations, it also attracts large crowds and is a lively place with performances and shows happening in the summer. Some see these activities as disrespectful to the martyrs, while others believe that this freedom and joy is exactly what the soldiers fought for, and they would be very happy to know that the country that they laid down their life for is prospering. The cenotaph is the location of many peaceful and rarely violent protests for all kinds of causes. It is the monument where people gather to exercise their freedom of speech and right to protest. It is a monument where people of all walks of life come to express their views and be heard by their government. It is a monument of diversity in one of the most diverse cities in the world. This is Toronto's permanent memorial to remember, mourn, and reflect upon the sacrifices made by people before us so that we can enjoy the peace and freedom that we have today.